Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our pizza pie puzzle. Um, I kind of like uh, math puzzles, analytical type puzzles. And th this is one that we cut packaged in kind of a, 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 a neat little format, I think. What we've got here is we've got our uh, pizza. And so each piece, each slice has a number on the corner and you see there's ten different numbers. The object is to uh, arrange these numbers, these come out, these are little disks, such that the sum of the two numbers on the corner of any one slice, like these two numbers here, must equal the sum of the two numbers on the opposing slice over here. Now, that's not set up to be correct because 19 plus 9 is not correct. So it will come unsolved uh, like this. Your goal is to rearrange them so that the sum of any two adjacent numbers on the corner of a slice equal the sum of the two adjacent numbers on the opposite slice. Okay, got it? Uh, kind of fun. Uh, there are a couple possible solutions, and I'll show you a little bit about the math here without totally giving away the solution for you. It will come with a written solution. Now, th this thing is, um, we, we, what we've done is we've, we've made a little wood base here, and this is a cover. So, so uh, it will contain everything very nicely, allow you to allow you to put it away. And what we've done here, th this is all laser engraved. We've got some mushrooms, and we've got some. Ah, uh, they're supposed to be pepperoni, but if you don't like pepperoni, I guess they could be uh, ricotta cheese or spinach or something. And, and uh, what I've done is uh, this is a kind of a base, um, it, which glued is glued in, and the ring here I've cut out and glued to the uh, back of this piece which has the number laser engraved in in it such that it fits exactly you know, it just fits really nice um, uh, the instructions are also laser engraved here and this is made in our Florida shop um, for you teachers or you analytical folks I've uh, created a little something here that might help you in your analysis of this puzzle it may help you if you wanted to teach this to, to students. Um, we do know uh, from the rules that a plus b must equal uh, little, little a plus little b here. So we can write an equation. Uh, a plus b must equal little a plus little b, and that's true all the way around. Therefore, we, we know that by subtracting a on this side and b on this, big b on this side, that uh, big a minus little a must equal little b minus big b. The inference there is that the difference of numbers on opposite ends of a line must be equal. That is, the difference between these two numbers here, big B and little b, must, excuse me, these two numbers here must be equal here, must be equal here, must be must be the same result. The difference the the difference between the two ends must be the same all the way around. And if you use that logic, it's going to greatly help you find a solution to this puzzle, as opposed to just randomly trying to uh, randomly trying to put the numbers down. There are two possible solutions to this thing, and then then there are variants. You know, this thing. Imagine this thing could be rotated, or there could be mirror images. But there are two different, unique possible solutions to this puzzle. And I hope you can find them both. Uh, the, the 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 written solution with the puzzle. Um, will contain them both, as well as, well as a little bit of math analysis of the puzzle. All right, hope you can enjoy. This is Dave at Creative Craft House. These are made in our Hudson, Florida shop.